Hello everyone, this is Nitpicky Nerd and this is my review of Season 3 of The Mandalorian. And I didn't make reviews of every episode because honestly I just didn't have that much to say about it. Because there is very little story in the season. And it's kind of always been the case in the show but there was still enough fun stuff to talk about and to mention. But in this season it kind of feels less original, it's kind of repetitive. There are a lot of things that happen again and again, like uh, always there are some giant monster that they have to fight in almost every episode and stuff like that, so it got pretty repetitive. And I think visually the show is almost perfect, so I do kind of enjoy it for that. I don't hate this show, I don't hate this season, but it definitely has some weaknesses, especially in the story. It's almost like watching someone play a computer game, you know, a computer game can be really fun, when you're the one playing, but watching someone else play it and just go through all the levels in a speed run and stuff like that, I guess it can be fun if it's visually entertaining, but if it doesn't have a good story, then it's kind of less fun. And also in this season, it kind of got a little bit too silly, too comedic, to a degree that you don't have a sense of danger to anyone. Everyone are wearing armor that protects them from any situation. So there is no sense of danger to anyone, there is no real stakes and all of that, and so it kind of damages the show. Even though I personally kind of enjoy humor, I enjoy the silly things and stuff like that, and Star Wars always had those elements, but they kind of went a little bit too far in some places in this season. Like there's a whole episode of them going into some city in which uh, only robots are doing all the dirty work and all of that. And some of the robots go crazy, so I thought maybe they're finally going to do some kind of story with that idea, you know, do some exploration of the human condition or of the rights of a sentient AI, something like that, but they never really did that. Instead it all felt kind of comedic and silly. And so that whole episode felt like Futurama because they even had a scene showing a bar for droids only, in which the droids kind of drink some kind of liquid through tubes that go into their bodies, and they say that it lubricates their internal systems, something like that, some kind of excuse like that, but it really reminds me of Bender from Futurama, who was always uh, drinking alcohol and saying that it fuels his systems or something, and so... Again, I don't mind that if they go comedic, if it's actually funny, but uh, a lot of times in this season they kind of try to be funny, but it's not really that funny to be worth it, and so maybe it would have been better off to keep it a little bit more realistic and to have actual drama and actual stories and actual sense of danger and so on. And also it was a missed opportunity, because if you have that kind of setup, why not explore some actual science fiction ideas like the rights of sentient AI? which Star Wars never did, honestly. Star Wars always had this problem, even in the first movie. We had scenes of the droids being cowardly and all of that, and we had scenes of droids being tortured and feeling pain, and so I always uh, thought it's kind of strange how come the robots in Star Wars apparently can feel pain and can feel emotions, and they're afraid, and they're shaking, and so they obviously are sentient, and yet everyone else are not treating them as sentient and instead they are treated as slaves and as property, and so I guess it's the irony of it which makes it funny, because it's a robot, so we don't expect it to feel emotions, and yet you see cowardly emotional robots, and so I guess that makes it funny, but they never really explore the question itself, which is an interesting one. It's a classic science fiction question, you know, if AI can become sentient, how you should treat it, should it have the same rights as you, and all of that. And Star Trek did have whole episodes directly dealing with this topic, especially the TNG episode The Measure of a Man, one of the best episodes in my opinion, directly debated that topic in the episode. That was in the heart of the episode and it's a classic science fiction idea. And yet Star Wars never really dealt with that issue. Uh, there was that droid character in the movie Solo, which kind of talked about it, but it was also done in a silly way just for comedy and didn't really debate anything. And so it was just silly, it made it even more annoying. And so in this show we have droids who are being cowardly and afraid and literally shaking from fear and stuff like that, which I guess is comedic, I guess it's fun, but it is kind of stupid in the same way. And so if they are sentient, then why are they getting treated as slaves and how come everyone are fine with it, even the heroes of every show and movie, no one ever even raises this issue, and so I do think it's kind of a problem, and it was a missed opportunity, especially in that episode when they go into that city with the robot slaves, and they show us that some of the robots go crazy and kind of rebel and all of that, so it would have been interesting if they actually dealt with the topic itself, and yet they didn't really, and so it was a missed opportunity. It reminds me of that episode in uh, season 1 of Star Trek Picard, which showed us those slave robots on Mars who began a rebellion, and they showed it as if they are being mistreated by the humans and all of that, so I thought they are going to explain it that because of the way they were treated, that's why they rebelled, and yet in the end they reveal, oh, they were just hacked by someone, so 
it was never really a true AI rebellion. And so that was kind of a missed opportunity. And so the same thing here, they kind of do a story like that, but don't really go into any topic and it's just someone hacking them from afar. And so they're not really sentient, I guess, even though we see them having emotions, we see them get angry, get scared, but it's all just for humor, I guess. So they never had the intention of actually dealing with this topic. So that was kind of a missed opportunity, in my opinion. You know, it reminded me of that movie with Will Smith, uh, the one uh, called I, Robot. They even had a really similar scenes here when uh, the Mandalorian was going around trying to piss off the robots to find out which of them is defective. And so he was kind of kicking them around. So we had a similar scene of Will Smith trying to annoy some robots in a storage facility, trying to see which of them is the emotional one in order to kill him, I guess. And uh, so he was slapping them around. And uh, when one of them uh, tries to run away, then he tries to kill him. So we have the same kind of thing here with the Mandalorian who tries to find the defective robots to kill them. And so all of that stuff could have been done so much better if they actually dealt with the topic of sentience in robots, which they didn't really do it all. In the end, it's just hacked by some fanboy of Dooku, who was played by Christopher Lloyd, who wanted to do something for some reason. They never really explain anything, and so it's all just kind of silly. And Grogo is just along for the ride, just because he's cute, I guess. And he kind of reminds me of Gizmo from the Gremlin movies. He's there to be cute, but he doesn't really have any opinions. He doesn't really have any say in anything. He's just along for the ride, just to be cute and funny. And also visually the way they show him kind of jumping around and all of that, that literally looks like Gizmo from Gremlins. And you know, back then that was forgivable because they didn't have the technology we have now to do proper special effects. So they used puppets and wires and all of that because there was no choice. And so it looked kind of silly, but they do the same thing here. It looks exactly the same like in Gremlins. And so it looks worse than the CGI Yoda jumping around in episode 2. So why not do that kind of thing when they can do it with CGI? Why use puppets that look really silly jumping around? So even visually I would say that stuff is bad. And also the only reason Grogo is even in this season is just because they knew that he brings the ratings because everyone loved him in the first two seasons. And that's why they brought him back. But it wasn't really necessary and it's just kind of eye candy to see the cute Grogo, but he's not really that funny as he was in the previous seasons. And a lot of the comedy in this season is not really that funny, and so it's not worth it. It would have been better off to play it more straight and to have an actual sense of danger and all of that. That could have been better instead of going into this silly route and just doing silly things on the screen. And they brought back uh, Gideon as the main villain again, and I love that actor, but uh, he was kind of defeated already so why bring back the same villain again i guess this time he has a better suit and so he can fight them better but it's not really that interesting they did kind of tease that he has some kind of secret lab with clones and so i guess a lot of people were speculating maybe it's clues that it will all tie to the resurrection of the emperor or the creation of snoke and stuff like that but in the end it turns out those were just clones of himself and there was a moment that reminded me of a scene from the original Judge Dredd movie, which also had some clones or something being grown. And then one of them kind of opened his eyes like in a jump scare and they did exactly the same thing here. And also there was a scene when they went into some underground cave on Mandalore and it looked exactly the same like that cave in Star Trek 2, the one created by the Genesis device. So I get the sense as if they are deliberately referencing all kinds of scenes from other science fiction movies and shows, like that Futurama city, which even had uh, people traveling through tubes uh, all over the place, just like in uh, Futurama. And so there are a lot of similarities, which I don't think are coincidences. And maybe it's just a homage, maybe it's just paying respect, or maybe it's a lack of imagination if the show is incapable of inventing something interesting by itself. And so it kind of borrows ideas from other places because I didn't really see any real original idea in this whole season. I didn't really see anything that I didn't see a million times before in other places, and so that's also a problem. And the way it even repeats itself, like how many scenes we had of the Mandalorians fighting some giant monster that suddenly shows up. First it's a giant crocodile, then it's a giant bird, then it's some giant sea creature. Like almost every episode had a scene like that, and it got really repetitive that it almost becomes boring despite the excellent special effects. And so that's kind of strange. And so that's why I don't really have that much to say about the season, because not really a lot of things happen story-wise. I don't really have that much of uh, things to talk about and discuss. So let me know what you think, and we can discuss all of this in the comments below. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.